This year has been a snowy one, to say the least, here in Salt Lake City. Resorts have shattered their all-time season snowfall records, and they've received almost double the amount of snow that they did last season. This has been an amazing season for skiers, riders, and there's been endless powder days and face shots. However, this snowfall does way more for the state of Utah than just provide some great ski days. Now here in Utah, you may know, we have been experiencing a mega drought for almost a decade now. So this water is precious to the ecosystem here in Utah, and there sure is a whole lot of it. So I sat down with Professor Mackenzie Stiles, and we talked about this year's amazing snowfall and then the impacts that it has for our state here in Utah. My name is Dr. Mackenzie Skiles. I'm an assistant professor here in the geography department at the University of Utah. And I am the director of the Snow Hydro Lab, which stands for Snow Hydrology Research to Operations. And what we study um, is how much water is held in the mountain snowpack, and then when and how fast that will be melt will melt and when that will be available downstream for use. So last year, even the last couple of years, what are what we call uh, average or slightly below average years. And um, the snowfall, say at Alta, tends to be, you know, we're happy if we hit 500 or so. And uh, this year we've had 877, I think is the current number, and we're really gunning for 900, which would be sort of that nice round number. There's nothing significant necessarily about 900, um, but I think we'll get there before then. Before we had this historic winter, we've had a lack of water here in Utah, and we've been going through a cycle of mega drought, and can you kind of talk about that mega drought and then the impacts that that's had on the state? Yeah, so out here in the West, most of the places people live are deserts. It's arid lands, it's really dry. Most of the water that we get um, annually comes from snow. So when we have low snow years, uh, and then we have multiple low snow years in a row, that really compounds over time um, to magnify drought conditions. And of course, rain is, is important in some places as well, but, but most of our, our surface water comes from, from snow melt. And that really is what allows us to live here in the West. Um, and we want the precipitation to keep coming in snow over time, um, but that variability that's been associated with this mega drought where we have more dry years than wet years is really compounding over time. And so a big year like this is awesome. It's great, it's what we need, but it's not enough to bring us back to a full recovery. Um, and I think at this point in time, we need to recognize that variability and low snow years need to be more normal um, and start really planning for water conservation into the future and not relying on Mother Nature to deliver us big years like this year. Absolutely.